Yo, ya boy coming back with another guide, this time going back to Outland. This guide will come in handy also when we finally get TBC Classic because at this point it's pretty much confirmed that it's coming. Might just be a bit harder to do because you can't one shot all the mobs. Even so, you will still be able to do it in a few days when TBC Classic goes live, depending on how much you grind. Because this grind can be endless and this grind is yes, of course, the Shatari Skyguard, from which you can get 5 nether rays, a pet, a tabard and it might even give you a toy, depending on how lucky you are. Quick note before we start, all reputation gains will be the base gains, so I will not be taking into consideration the dark moon buffs or the human racials. This is just for simplicity's sake and you can do your calculations yourself. First thing we will be doing is going near the flight master in Shatrat city and taking the quest threat from above from Eula. You can get to Shatrat from the portal room of your capital city. You will be starting out neutral with the Shatari skyguard. This quest will require you to slay 20 ogres nearby. After you do that, turn in the quest and you will get 250 reputation with the Shatari Skyguard. We have begun. After that, the same quest giver will give you the quest to Sketis, which will task you with talking to Sky Sergeant Dorin. The quest will only give you 10 reputation though, but by doing this you will unlock the first two dailies you can do. First one is given to you by the same NPC, it's called Fires over Sketis which will task you with going on a flying mount of your choice and using the dynamite on these eggs you can find atop of the trees of Sketis. Here they are on the video, they are not on all trees but you will be doing this pretty fast. This one will give you 350 reputation with the Shatari Skyguard. Second daily you have unlocked is called Escape from Sketis. This one is not given to you in the quest hub but rather while you're doing stuff around Sketis, you will come across these cages and an NPC called Skyguard Prisoner can randomly appear in one. It's not predetermined, it's just pure RNG. This is just a short escort quest and it will give you 150 reputation with the Shatari Skyguard. There is also not a repeatable quest called Hungry Nether Rays you can pick up in this area from Skyguard Handler d -Suck. This one will require you to go to the southern area of Sketis and find these white lizards called Blackwind Warp Chasers. Here you will use your cage to get your nether ray out and pop this off. Boop! And then your nether ray thingy will eat it and you will need 10 of these and it will give you 250 reputation with the Shatari Skyguard. There is also a quest called World of Shadows that will task you with collecting 6 shadow dust from mobs around Sketis. These are not 100% drop, however when you turn in the quest you will get 250 reputation points and unlock a repeatable quest meaning you can do it as much as you like whenever you like called more shadow dust which is essentially the same quest 6 shadow dust turned into this NPC but it will give you 150 reputation points. Turning in 6 shadow dust will also give you an important item called elixir of shadows. Do not throw this away we're gonna need it for the next step. Now we will be doing the quest secrets of the talent priests given to us by sky commander Adaris. We will need to pop off 3 mobs marked on the map, but they are invisible. To see them we will need to drink some of that sweet elixir of shadows we got for our shadow dust. We pop 3 of them off and one of them, Talon Priest Ishal, will give you an item called Ishal's Almanac. Turning in secrets of the Talon Priest will give you 250 reputation points and the Almanac quest will give you 75. After the Almana quest we will get the quest an ally in Lower City which is simply a quest to speak to an NPC which takes us back to Shatrath and gives us 75 reputation. After which we get Countdown to Doom which just well brings us back to the quest hub. Now the prisoner next to the quest givers in our little quest hub, a guy named Hazik will task us with collecting a package for him and it will give you 75 reputation. Next quest, a shabby disguise is also given to you by the prisoner which will task you with going to this little island in the middle, using a disguise he gave us and buying an item called adversarial bloodlines, 150 reputation for this quest. And now we get to the main thing, the quest after this called adversarial blood which will require us to summon 4 big mobs and get some items off of them. But to do this we first need to use our elixirs of shadows and collect 40 time lost scrolls, 10 for each of the mini bosses. 
However, these scrolls only drop from the shadowy mobs you can see when you drink the elixir and are also not 100% drops. However, after you collect 10 scrolls you will fly around looking for a big purple circle. They have bone piles in the middle if they haven't been used recently. There are a few of them around and you can use any. Choose which boss you'd like to summon, pop him off and collect the item. Do this for all 4 bosses, go back to turn it in and you will get 350 reputation and a time lost offering, which we will need for the next step. For killing each boss you will also get 100 reputation and also after turning this in this quest becomes repeatable but just called tokens of the descendants. Totally the same thing and it will give you 350 reputation and a time lost offering. And now the final quest in the chain, Terox downfall, given to us by Sky Commander Adaris. With this we go to the middle island and use the bone pile in the big green circle to summon Terok. If the bone pile is gone you will have to wait a bit, it means someone used it. As of recording this video the respawn timer is 15 minutes. You will use the bones, click on the thing to use the time lost offering and you will summon Terok. Kill him and get 500 reputation. Also he has a chance to drop a toy called time lost figurine. Now you go back to turn in the quest and you will get 1000 reputation. This quest is not repeatable, however you can kill Terok as many times as you like and each time you will get 500 reputation. But you will need to do the whole process, from shadow dust, to elixirs, to time lost scrolls, to killing 4 mobs and collecting items, turning them in for the time lost offering and then killing Terok all over again. Now the only thing left to do is to kill mobs around Skettis. Regular mobs, both normal and shadowy will give you 10 reputation each. The elite trees around will give you 30 reputation. The bosses you summon with scrolls will give you 100 and Terok will give you 500 reputation every time you pop him off. As you will be using a lot of elixirs of shadow, you will be turning in a lot of shadow dust which will give you 150 reputation every time you do. Do your dailies, it's a nice boost and you can do this in a day if you're up for it. I wanna mention that you can buy Shadow Dust, Time Lost Scrolls and Time Lost Offerings from the Auction House. The price will totally depend on your server though. After you do all that, you can talk to Grella right here and you can buy your mounts, a tabard and a companion pet. And now, that's all from me, hope this guide was helpful, if you have some questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Consider subscribing if you're interested in more guides like these and I will see you in the next one. Peace.